Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm still checking in from home. And what I have for you today is Abomination Brewing F. 2022 while we're at it. I'm sure you can figure out what the F stands for. Now, I picked this up at uh, Simone's for $4.69 a can. And, of course, they always have to put the stupid price tags in a dumb location. I don't know why they couldn't put it back here where there's nothing here. They put it right there on that cool-ass label. I mean, that's a badass beer label. I'm hoping I can pull that price tag off that label without ruining the label. So there's a little bit of stuff on the can here I'll read to you. Store cold, drink fresh, 16 ounce can, brewed and packaged by Abomination Brewing Company, North Haven, Connecticut, distributed by 12%, which is the 12% project, which I'll get into in a minute. And the label art is by Sam Heimer. I hope I'm not mispronouncing your name. And I saw on the uh, website, they have a link that you can buy his art prints. Their labors are really cool. Like all their labels I saw are really cool from this brewery. And I'll make sure to put a link down below <clears throat> to where you can buy his art prints. Because they were just really, I mean, like again, they're just badass artworks. On the other side here, alcohol by 9%, Jesus, 9.7% alcohol by volume. Fuck 2022 while we're at it. Triple Dry Hopped India Pale Ale. For more info, visit us at abominationbrewing.com. And they have their socials. And like I said, I'm going to get back to this 12% project. Now, when I was looking this up, Untapped and the can says North Haven, Connecticut. Beer Advocate says this is from East Strasburg, PA. So I started looking into it more to see uh, where the discrepancy was. And apparently they're part of the 12% project, obviously. And that is a, a group that, that brews beers for different nomadic or gypsy breweries. And this is one of those nomadic or gypsy breweries. They call themselves a nomadic brewery. A lot of people would label it as a gypsy brewery. It just means they don't have like a physical location where they brew the beer. They use a lot of contract brewers or they'll go into um, other breweries to brew their beers. Because a lot of breweries have more production capacity than what they're actually currently putting out. And so sometimes they'll sell off some of the capacity, which basically means they'll allow other breweries to come brew beers in their off time or when they're not using some of their equipment. And that's what like a nomadic or a gypsy brewery is. And apparently this is one of those. And a 12% project sounds like it's, it's a conglomerate of gypsy or nomadic breweries. So I thought that was kind of unique. I, I think I've had some 12% project beers before, but didn't quite understand what it was. Now, again, I just can't get over how cool this artwork is. Uh, this is, like I said, a triple dry hopped India Pale Ale. I don't know. Once you start getting into this double, triple, quadruple nonsense, you're starting to lose me. But sometimes they can come, come through and be good beers. On Untapped, this gets a 4.08 with 3.4 thousand check-ins. Beer Advocate it gets an 89, very good, but there's only 15 check-ins. And wow, I just hard poured that like crazy. Although that head is dissipating pretty quickly. It's almost cascading like a, a, a stout would do. And I'm getting big orange notes right off the bat. Like I'm not even close to it, just opening it. I'm getting some big orange notes out of that. And that, that head was dissipating, but now it's kind of stopped. That is a big, pillowy, chunky head. And if you look at that, a good bit of carbonation in there. I don't know if you can see the carbonation. And that's almost like orange juice. Get this flashlight out that I always have problems with. A lot of carbonation. But that is, it's like carbonated orange juice. I know I use that, that, that term, that description a lot, but that's what it looks like, carbonated orange juice to me. 
If I was going to use my winemaker's SRM chart here, you know, even though that's thick, you hold up to the light, it is kind of a chalky white. So I would probably give that a, I guess I'd give that a three. That's kind of a chalky white looking beer overall. As I said, I got some big orange citrus smell as soon as I opened the can. I'm getting orange and hops. Citrus and bitter hops. I stuck my nose in it. That's what happens when you have a giant ass nose like me. Yeah, that's some slight citrus kind of smell and then bittering hops. Like that just smells like, I don't want to say vegetal, but I guess fresh hops off the vine. I mean, it just smells like a hop. I know that's kind of a generic description. And that head's turning into some pillowy nonsense. Big, big bubbles. That's not going to go away. So I guess I'm going to have to chew through this head. Whew. Triple dry hop India Pale Ale. What am I doing to myself? I guess fuck 2022 while we're at it. Medium, getting close to the heavy end of the body. It's kind of, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's heavy, it's not thick, but you know there's something there. I'm getting a little bit of a, the alcohol in the uh, exhale bit after you swallow. Kind of that, that lingering alcohol vapor almost but it's not boozy in the mouthfeel it's not you, you don't like oh my god this is alcohol it's just that kind of lingering after effect where you exhale and you kind of can tell there's some booze in it and at 9.7 percent i'm not surprised it's not overly hobby though it does have some of that 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 the hop oil slickness or viscous, viscousness to it. But it's, it's light citrusy and then some bittering hops. I mean, again, maybe I'm, I'm... God, that's such a cool, cool looking can. I really hope I can pull that, that stupid price tag off there and not ruin the label. Whew. Can art's got me distracted. But this isn't like an over-the-top, smack-you-in-the-mouth hops, like crush-you-in-the-face hops. I think the, the, the bitter hop smell is worse than the flavor. It's actually pretty well balanced. Citrusy, some nice... How do I put this? It's not veg vegetal, but it's like green hop flavor, like a fresh hop flavor. The, the bitterness is well balanced. You know, I hate to say it, but I give this a horns up. It's a good beer. I would drink this again. I at four sixty nine a can. It's probably a good deal because you don't need two or three of these, and you'd be having a good night. <clears throat> And again, I bet you after after I finish, by the time I get to the bottom of this one, I'm not going to notice the alcohol at all. I don't really notice it now. It's just in that initial first couple of mouthfuls. But yeah, this is a good beer. I didn't want to like it. Abomination Brewing, you made a fine beer. I'd definitely buy this one again. I hope to find more of your beers out there in the wild. I hope you think I made a fine video. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to let me know down below. And as always, embrace the adventure.
four pack of these and you'd be fluted. 